In this video, we want to talk about cases when you want to consider using an authentication platform like Auth0 or AuthRocket, and based on our experiences, describe why we think they worked out. We're going to list a number of common factors that the successful integrations with authentication service providers share. By successful, I mean after a year or two or more, there were no major business or technical complaints. Keep in mind this isn't an all or nothing checklist and you don't need all the factors for a successful integration. In my experience, you get the most savings when you use the platform's default flows with little customizations. They are easy to set up, especially the social integrations and MFA. If you use the pre-built brandable login pages, you can have a fully functional authentication flow in very short order. If you have a small development team, possibly in a startup company with limited time to market, and time savings is your most important factor. You need something fast, stable, and most important, you're not too picky on the precise login flow, and are willing to accept whatever the service provider has to offer out of the box. By taking full advantage of the time savings, then providers like Otho might be for you. I hate FUD articles, so I'm not trying to spread fear here, but there are some organizations, for example non-technical companies, that operate small portals for their customers but don't have the support of an in-house development team. In these cases, they again make good use of whatever the provider offers out of the box with a short development cycle. If you have a small number of users, then the fee for using authentication providers is generally pretty affordable. On the other hand, if you have hundreds of thousands of users, the annual fee can be like $25,000, and after a couple years of paying that, you ask yourself, how much can my dev team build on their own with that money? In my experience, organizations with less than 10,000 users, low corporate governance policies, and limited development cycles had better experience with Auth0 and their alternatives. Established organizations with more customers, more corporate policy regarding reviews, data storage and redundancy requirements that had larger in-house development teams experienced more contention with authentication providers, especially in the cases where business teams wanted very customized authentication flows, password reset options, etc. You end up spending a lot of time building custom integrations. If there's too much contention, policy enforcers are not happy business teams are not happy, and the dev team still spends lots of hours on customizations. But that being said, I have been on projects where it worked out great, so I know it can be done. The evaluation process to see if vendors like AuthRocket will work with your company is really important, so that's why I wanted to share some of my experiences. Let us know if your organization uses Auth0 and the like. What were the most beneficial factors for you? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're looking for reasons not to use Auth0, check out this video. If you like this content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.